Hello everyone, my name is Masha Knotts and today I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful half and half chevron. Now this bracelet is really really cute and I definitely think that this is suitable for beginners. However, I would not recommend you make this bracelet on your first attempt. If you've never made bracelets before, I highly recommend that the chevron, the regular chevron, is the one that you start making bracelets with. I have a very detailed chevron tutorial on my channel and it will be linked in the card and in the description for you. And going forward, even though this is a beginner's tutorial, I do expect that you already know how to make the basic knots and are quite familiar with doing them, so if you are not, I also highly recommend checking out my tutorial on that first before attempting this slightly more difficult bracelet. But if you have already tackled the basic chevron, you will have zero issues making this bracelet as well. As always, the pattern, if you prefer following that, will be linked in the description. But for now, let's get on to the tutorial. So before we get started, I want to mention that I am going to be making a teardrop loop. You guys know that I love me a good teardrop loop and I do have a tutorial on that separately and I will be showing you how to make one for this bracelet today but every time I make a teardrop loop in a tutorial I always get questions if that is what you have to make and of course the answer is no you don't have to make a teardrop loop you can make whatever start or finish that you like I have a whole playlist filled with tutorials on how to start and finish your bracelets and I always leave the pattern linked in the description for you to figure out the string order that you need for your type of start this is just what I'm doing and I will be showing you how to do what I'm doing in case you want to do that too. So if you don't want to do a teardrop loop, you can skip to this time in the video. But for now, let's get into the teardrop part of the tutorial. Now I'm going to be starting my bracelet with the red string on the left. So I'm going to bring out the red string first. And I'm going to do that by making a forward and backward knot with the red string onto the entire strand. Now, as I said, I do have an in-depth tutorial on teardrop loops, so if you want that, you can go check that out. This is just going to be a sort of a quick overview, not an in-depth tutorial. Next, I'm going to grab my orange string and do the same thing. I'm going to do a forward-backward knot onto the entire strand, excluding the red string. And I'm going to continue doing that with the yellow, then green, then blue string, until I reach the end. So on the left side I've brought all the strings in in the pattern of a rainbow and on the right side starting with the white string I'm going to be bringing out the white and the black alternating so I'm going to bring out the white first then black then white then black then white and so on until I run out of string. So that's what I'm going to do on that side and I'm going to be doing it with backward forward knots on this side instead. So first a white string in a backward forward knot onto the entire strand. So I had to switch up the scene a little bit since the tape started coming off all the time and it was really annoying. And I know you guys don't really love it when I film on my pillow, but at the moment I haven't figured out a solution of being able to film and not have the scene be wobbly. So I am really sorry about that. Once I do figure it out, I will start filming on something different, but at the moment you will have to bear with the pillow, unfortunately. This bracelet is very easy to do. If you are familiar with the basic chevron, and if you're not, I do have a separate tutorial, which will be linked in the card and in the description. But if you are familiar with the basic chevron, you will have zero issues with making this bracelet. It starts off very similar to the basic chevron. Now we're gonna take the outermost string on the right here, and I'm not connecting the two teardrop halves yet. I'm gonna connect it a little bit further down the line so that the knot ends up being more secure. And of course, if you didn't make a teardrop loop, you don't have to worry about that. You can arrange your strings and start your bracelet however you like and start following the tutorial from this point. So, taking the outermost string, which is for me this white string, I'm gonna be doing a row of backward knots all the way until this white string on the left. I am assuming that you are familiar with the basic knots, so I'm not gonna be going into detail on how to make them. And if you're not, I do have a very detailed tutorial available for you as well. Mm -hmm. 
at this point I'm going to connect the teardrop here and I'm going to be doing that in a forward backward knot since I need the purple string to stay on the left. I'm going to be very careful here. And here the reason why I waited to connect it is so I can straight away do another backward knot with the white string onto this black string here, helping secure that purple knot that I made just now connecting the two teardrops. Now we have brought the white string all the way from the outermost edge into the middle like we do in a regular chevron. Now focusing on the other side, we're going to grab the red string over here and we are going to do a row of forward knots just like in a chevron until we reach the purple string here. And once the red string reaches the center, instead of just doing a forward knot here, I'm going to be doing a forward backward knot with the red string onto the white string, making a knot of the red string's color, but leaving both of the strings on their respective sides. So the red string is still on the left and the white string is still on the right but the chevron is complete for this row. Now that is essentially all you have to do for this bracelet. You have to continue doing that until the bracelet reaches the desired length. But let me just demonstrate one more time just to make sure you understand. Taking the outermost string here, which is the black string here for me, I'm gonna be doing a row of backward knots until this white string here. Now focusing on the other side, the next string for me is this orange and I'm going to do a row of forward knots until I reach the red string here. And then once both of the strings are in the center, I'm gonna be grabbing this orange string and I'm gonna be doing a forward backward knot onto the black string, making a knot of the orange string's color but leaving both of the strings on their respective sides. So the orange string is still on the left with all of the rainbow strings and the black string is still on the right with all of the black and white strings. And that is literally it. There is only one row to this pattern that you have to repeat over and over and over again until the bracelet reaches your desired length. So that's what I'm gonna do off camera and I'll be right with you once I'm done. And there you have it. This is what the bracelet looks like once it is completed. I think this is a super cute pattern that is extremely easy to do. It's literally just the basic chevron with one minor change in the middle. And I think it looks amazing. You've got a rainbow on one side and sort of zebra colors on the other side. I think that's really, really cute and uh, very simple to make. So I definitely highly recommend making this if you also like it. It is a very easy bracelet to make and a very fun one at that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters who are Jane, Zoe, Sunshine, Tia, Stephanie, Izzy, Mads, and Lisa. Thank you all so very much. I really appreciate your support. Everything that is donated goes towards supporting the channel. And if you also want to become a patron, there is a link in the description where you can sign up and get exclusive patron-only perks. As for me, I post videos on Wednesdays and Sundays, and sometimes I also post bonus videos, so keep your eyes up for that. And I will see you next time. Bye.